is going to be the Twin Flame card reading. If you missed it a couple of days ago, I did do a Twin Flame reading with runes. Um, I am using the runes. They're divination stones. Um, I am able to actually almost kind of read the energy of the stones better than I am the cards. Um, so some really good messages came through, so do be sure and check that out. Um, I will be using both as I'm guided to, so... Um, if you miss, um, if you don't see a card reading, understand it'll be a runes reading. Um, but I was guided to do a second twin flame reading this week just because I know my energy has changed a lot. I have a lot more clarity now. Um, I have a deeper understanding of this journey. I have made significant progress and understand. <laughs> we, um, on this twin flame journey, we judge progress, um, differently than we should we judge progress to mean um, what the physical form of our twin flame is doing or not doing and this is not about them at all this is about us which is why if you're new to my channel if this is the first time you've watched a twin flame video that I have done I do not focus on your absent partner <laughs> the physical form of your twin flame whatsoever whatever's going on with them i'm not going to tell you what's going on with them their karmics anything like that because this is an inward journey it has nothing to do with the physical world it has everything to do with you so that is my focus um so do um really ask yourself what is progress on the twin flame journey so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and the first card that I have is the Four of Coins. And basically the energy that I am getting with this card. Um, for one thing, I want to say, first of all, there are a lot of Coins cards. And Coins are the same as the Pentacles. So basically what I'm, the energy that I'm getting with the Coins cards, period, is once again, is that you're focused too much on what's going on in the physical realm. Once you realize that everything that's happening in the physical realm are the illusions, the 3D illusions, you will be able to navigate this journey a lot easier. And you'll be able to, because to clarify that card, we have ebb and flow. Go with the flow. And you'll stop taking everything so personally. Um, I know when people used to say that to me, I'm like, how in the hell can that be when he has ghosted me with somebody else? Or <laughs> I haven't heard from him in a month. How can that possibly be? Once you learn that you have all of the control, then you will be able to work with the energies more. And the reason why I say that you have all of the control is because the physical form of the twin flame um, responds to your energy. If you are the one watching this, then you are the one doing all of the work. You are the one that has all of the power and all of the control. Look at the physical form of your twin flame as being a host for the rest of your soul. Because basically, um, everyone is and has a twin flame. I know a lot of times on this journey, we want to feel like we are special. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're not special, but you're not special be for being a twin flame. Um, I see people all day long. That's all they focus on all day long. Like on social media is their twin flameness. <laughs> you know, like they have no other life besides that. That is the primary focus of their life. And you know what? That's exactly why they're not in physical union. And understand physical union is not the goal of this. I mean, it's like, I, it's almost like the prize. <laughs> it's almost like the reward for all of your work. And believe it or not, um, there's some of you that, you know, once you balance this energy out between the two of you, um, will no longer even want your twin flame. I mean, you'll choose a soulmate instead, believe it or not, or choose to be by yourself. But everyone is and has a twin flame. And this is how we were created. So basically, there's one soul. And it's split in two. And it's in two physical forms. Now understand, um, you basically decided together what kind of physical forms that you would have in this particular lifetime, all the other lifetimes you've had together. Um, some lifetimes you weren't even together physically because, you know, one of you was not even in physical form. And when I say one of you, I mean you. <laughs> you didn't split yourself. <laughs> you didn't split your soul in two like you did this time. 
Um, and so the other part of your soul just happens to be in a human vessel that you're attracted to. And it would have had to have been someone that you were attracted to. Sorry, my hand's shaking. Or you wouldn't have pursued this journey to begin with. So start seeing them just as a physical vessel. It's still your energy. You're still doing everything. Okay, um, I'm not great with Roman numerals, but I believe this is nine. <laughs> nine of coins. And once again, I feel very strongly this energy has to do with how you view success. Okay, so um, if your twin flame has ghosted you for a week and you're just miserable, you're like, man, I just haven't heard from him or her at all. I must be doing something wrong. Um, what is going on? And then all of a sudden you hear from them, all of a sudden they just pop up. And you're like, yes, I could be happy again. <laughs> I, that is success. That is good. Um, and then, you know, before you know it, they're right back out the door again and you're miserable again. Well, you have given your power away. And like I said, once you realize that you have all the power. And the key to this um, journey is to recognize that the physical form of the twin flame is going to show you what you need to work on. So anything that comes up is reflective of your own energy. So when it goes to you, it's normally because a fear came up. And you know, normally I have found it's because I was scared they were going to ghost me again. <laughs> like I'm scared they're going to ghost me again. So here he comes in and I'm all happy again. But then I start thinking, then the fear builds up and I'm like, man, he's about to leave again. And then sure enough, he does. Um, so the key is to balance that energy and to get to where you are all right either way. When he does come in and be like, oh, okay, you know, I must have balanced enough of my energy to bring him in. Now, if I um, start focusing on him too much, then out he goes again. Um, and so you really have to be conscious of that. And you have to get to the point where you realize that you are whole and complete. And, you know, stop seeing. I know someone had told me, I had heard this a few times um, in spiritual circles. And I had to really kind of pull back um, from any type of spiritual groups or circles or whatever that I was in because everything I was hearing was not true and I was trying to fit my circumstances into that situation. I'm like, that doesn't make sense for one thing. Um, second of all, um, my situation is not fitting into that box that you guys say it should, so therefore I must be on the wrong path. I must be doing something wrong, but you know, I've kind of gotten off the point, but I would hear that you needed to stop focusing on, um, the physical form, the physical body of your twin flame. And when I heard this initially, it triggered me. Because, you know, you go through that period of time where you're like, man, maybe this isn't my twin flame. Is it, maybe this is this so-called false twin, which is bullshit. There's no such thing as a false twin. Um, <laughs> there is your twin flame, who sometimes seems like a narcissistic asshole, but it's really your energy doing it. And then sometimes your soul will magnetize in um, a soulmate, and understand we have different soul, different kinds of soulmates. Not all of them are romantic. You know, your dog can be your soulmate. Um, and so what happens is when that happens, and once again, I'm getting off track, but it, this needs to be said. Um, so you have your narcissistic asshole twin flame um, who you point all your blame on <laughs> and don't accept responsibility for your energy, for what you've created, the situations you've um, created between the two of you. Um, but then once you balance your energy and you're feeling good, sometimes your soul will magnetize in a twin, I mean a soulmate, and you'll choose to be with that soulmate instead. And that's why people are like, oh, I had a false twin, but this is my real twin flame here. No, that is your real twin flame, and that is your soulmate. But anyway, um, when people started saying this, you need to stop focusing on the physical form of, of your twin flame, I took that to mean... Oh, shit. Maybe this isn't my real twin flame. Maybe it's like a false twin or something. <laughs> I got real confused. But now I realize that the reason why you're not supposed to focus on it, because really, that is a human vessel, and that really is not even your twin flame. It's just a host. Your true twin flame is you. Is you. You are your twin flame. 
<laughs> you have everything you need inside of yourself. Everything. A child in need. If a child told you that they were a failure because of some small mistake, how would you respond? Can you try to find the same words and tone for yourself? So I've talked about this a lot in my Zodiac videos over the last week because I actually had to reactivate my core wound. And I said I, because you know what? That's all there ever has been is I. <laughs> this whole thing has been to get me to wake up. It's never been about romance. It's been to get me to wake up out of my soul amnesia. So I've had to pull it back and I've had to be like, look, this whole journey is about me. And whatever I need to do to um, be, to realize, because I already am whole and complete, but I'm trying to remember, wake up to it and realize it. So um, we all have a core wound and I had to reactivate mine. And in order to find out what your core wound is, you need to ha go back to possibly even your childhood because that's usually where this core wound takes place at. And this will be something that has been a theme in your life and it, it will be what your soul has incarnated into your physical form that you're in to learn. Mine was fear of rejection. You know, the man who I thought was my dad walked out on our family when I was eight. And um, at first I thought it was abandonment. I thought it was intimacy fears, all these different fears that were coming up. But I was able to, which I have all those, but they all stem from that core wound, that fear of rejection. So once you recognize it, you can see how it's been playing out in your connection with your twin flame. And you can neutralize that fear. Now, it will never completely go away. But once you face it and really feel your way through it, um, and then you're mindful of it, and you're able to kind of look back at like all the times that you were shown your fear. <laughs> because your greatest fear will be have been your greatest teacher in your life. And you'll really have more clarity and more peace with everything that you've been through. The Wheel of Fortune. So the, basically the energy that I'm getting with this is that these are all of these events that were planned. Like I said, you know, I know that I incarnated into this physical form that I'm in so that I as a soul, as a divinity, could learn um, the fear of rejection and learn all of the human conditions um, that surrounded it. And the soul has the memories of all these things. I know I asked the other day, I'm like, okay, if all of these experiences that I'm having with others and with my twin flame are simulated in this matrix, which basically that's like what this is, is a matrix. Um, is there a memory of it? Like, does he remember what all has happened? And basically the spiritual guidance I got was the soul remembers my soul remembers because remember he and I are the same soul I'm just neutralizing both ends of that energy now so that we can come together because basically he doesn't have free will I do because he is almost like a puppet I on the end of strings and I'm the puppet master and he responds to my energy so once you realize you have all the control and how could you ever you you know you can't lose your twin flame yeah you know? So if you want to put your twin flame, you want to put your twin flame on the back burner for like five days to work through some things, guess what? They're not going anywhere. They're going to be right there when you get done. In fact, they're going to be there even more for the simple fact that you've neutralized more of that energy. Um, that's, that uh, wheel of fortune is clarified by abundance, peace, and contentment. So basically, um, you need to get to the point where you are at peace with everything that's going on. And another thing is that whole blame game. One of the biggest blocks on the Twin Flame journey, and believe me, I'm right there, and this is what I'm working on, and my own guidance, my own inner guidance, inner knowledge, told me that this is key, Okay. Every time he would ghost me or he would appear to do something, I would get angry with him. I would harbor resentment. And then I would find myself saying, you know what, I'm going to block him because I want him to pay. I want him to feel the same way I feel. I want to reject him back. 
I want to make him worry about what I'm doing. You know, because we want them to like sweat us and pursue us and chase us. And that's never going to happen, okay? So get that out of your head. That's never going to happen. Um, and the reason why that's never going to happen is because they are on the other end of this energy. You are the one that pushes and they're the one that pulls. So they're ne you're never going to switch places. So all this runner chaser switching places bullshit, that's not true. It's just simply not true because for one thing, you're not running or chasing anything because you're together the whole time. Um, second of all, the very fact, and, and think about this for a minute. The very fact that you want, this is a journey to learn about what love is. So the very fact that you want to kind of, and I'm not saying you do, I'm saying I did this and I, I've heard this in many, many twin flame threads. <laughs> you want them to feel what you feel. You want to hurt them back because you're angry with them. That is not being loving. And I know you're saying, well, that's not being loving towards myself. Well, the key to this journey is to be more loving. The more you focus on yourself and your own needs and what you need and setting healthy boundaries for yourself and putting yourself first, the more they can come towards you because you know what? You are focused on yourself and not focused on them. But to sit up and blame them and want, I, I know I used to want to make him feel jealous. I want him to feel the same way I feel. Make him wonder who I'm with. That's not, that's not love. That's not. And whenever you have those type of expectations, and I used to think an expectation was like, don't get your hopes up. It might not happen. <laughs> That's not an expectation. An expectation is ask yourself why you want this person in your life. If it has anything to do with making you feel whole or complete, the way they make you feel, um, filling your void, <laughs> Anything to do with how you feel, making you feel some kind of way, that is an expectation or a condition you're placing on them, and they will never be able to come in as long as that is your intention. Now, if you tell yourself, you know, it's just so amazing. This is what I've been doing lately. It's so amazing just to have that conversation and to have somebody on the same wavelength as me. I really want to spend time and really get to know the personality of my twin flame because you know what? You don't even know their personality right now. And you know why you don't know their personality? Because all of those times they made you feel good. That was your own soul manipulating the situation. I was able to see my higher self being in the driver's seat and waving at me the whole time. So you basically, have you ever noticed how erratic and how inconsistent their behavior is you're like what the fuck man <laughs> you have not even gotten to know them yet you don't even know them because they merely have been that puppet on the end of the string but once you neutralize that energy by not having those expectations of needing them so desperately because you already have them, they're already you, <laughs> they can come in and you can get to know the real them. And you've probably had moments where things were very real and you really did get to know them. And, and, and those are the moments that you long for. And you'll have those moments again only without the fears. Now, I don't usually do reverse cards, um, but this Queen of Cups came out reverse. So I was divinely guided to read this card in reverse. Um, and the energy that I'm getting with this reverse queen of cups is I don't usually watch TV and I gave this example in my Virgo, um, video I just did a little bit ago. Um, but I have been watching a little bit of Netflix. It takes me forever to choose a program because, um, I have to be really guided to watch one and I watch Coraline. It's a little cartoon or whatever on Netflix and, and um, it's about this little girl, her and her family, they move to this new place and they're in this house with all these eccentric characters. And she finds this doll that looks just like her that has button eyes. And she ends up following this little door. Um, understand her parents are not real warm and loving. They're real busy working and they have no time for her. And she's a very unhappy child. And she finds her way through this door following these mice. And she ends up in this alter universe with her other mother and her other father. 
and her other mother is everything <laughs> she's ever wanted. Now understand she didn't know that that doll was a spy <laughs> to see exactly what areas she was lacking in her life so that this other mother could cater to her every desire to long, you know, to lure her there so she'd stay there. She was cooking her these amazing meals and uh, making her these amazing clothes and her room and the garden, the house, everything was perfect until the mother started having these expectations of her. You look, you know, I've done all these things. You have to stay with me now and let me love you. And the little girl said, that doesn't sound like love to me. <laughs> and so this reminded me of that energy that we're in. I used to try to figure out exactly what he needed and wanted so I'd give it to him. And I'd give it to him and he still wasn't coming. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm an amazing cook. We have amazing sex. I look good. I'm smart. I have my own business. Um, why in the hell wouldn't he come here? I don't understand. What is going on? But it's because I have those expectations, or I did have. I'm working on that. This is where I'm at in my personal journey. Um, is I had those expectations that he was to come here and make me happy and fulfill me, and every my whole life would be happy and complete at that point well see that's the wrong energy to be in and that's not love just like Coraline found out the other mother was not being loving at all um, those were some very heavy expectations so that is the energy I'm getting with this Queen of Cups check your intentions we have secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on understand The other part of your soul that is in this human vessel, that is the physical form of your twin flame, feels the exact same way about you that you feel about them and wants to be with you as much as you want to be with them. But right now, the energy will not allow them to because you have not neutralized it. You're still in a fear-based energy. And so they cannot come in yet. But once again, don't even judge that because you know what? This is not even about being with them right now. It's about you. So reset your intention for right now that you are your number one priority, your number one focus, um, being whole and complete within yourself. But understand your love is not unrequited. It is mutual. And keep telling yourself that. No matter what fears come up, no matter what shows up. Page of Coins. So basically, the energy that I'm getting with this is this is a grounding energy. I know a lot of times um, we feel like, man, I'm feeling so good right now. Man, I just, I feel like I'm just in inner union with myself. Physical union has to be around the corner. And then the shit storm hits. And then before you know it, you're like, damn, what happened? I'm just all fucked up again. <laughs> it's because there's different layers. And imagine it like peeling layers off an onion. I mean, you didn't get conditioned overnight to have these fears. You know, have these fears that people are going to run out on you. They're going to cheat on you. Do check. Um, any type of conditioning that you took on from your family. I know I come from a very matriarchal family where, you know, they were like, you know, men always cheat. They don't always do what they say. Men leave. Men walk out. And, you know, so I really had that ingrained in me. And I've really had to clear those um, those beliefs, those ancestor, you know, ancestral patterns that I was stuck in. And that's what we're here for. We're here to transmute those fears into love and to clear those ancestral patterns. So um, do see in what ways you've been blocking yourself and limiting yourself. Isabella, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. What I'm getting from this is to do check your expectations at the door. Make sure, like I said, ask yourself why you want this person to be in your life. So that you are coming from a pure place. 
And for one thing, you need to um, reassess what makes you happy. Are there ways now that you could be finding happiness for yourself without sitting around waiting on somebody else to come in and do it? Because that puts you in the perfect vibration. When you're filling your own cup and you have filled your own void, you no longer have that void. You don't have those heavy expectations on someone else to come in and to fulfill you and complete you. Because that's a lot to put on somebody else. So do check that and, and check that you're not doing that with others too. I know I tend to do that with my adult kids too. You know, a lot of times I want to hear from them more often. I want them to be more involved in my life. And I had to actually ask myself about it. And you know, you know what I told myself? I said, you know, the fact that I don't hear from them all that often. You know, I know um, I have friends that their adult kids are living with them. They have to give them money all the time. They have to take them back and forth to work. You know, they're running back and forth to the jail, putting money on their books. I'm not doing none of that. So what does that say? Evidently, I didn't do such a bad job because they're all very independent, doing very well right now. So it's all in how you look at it. Change your perspective. So basically what I'm getting with this card here is once again, stop judging things as good or bad. Um, I know I would be like, man, I, I haven't heard from my twin flame in a week. This is bad. But I didn't realize that it was my soul's gift to me to give me that time to work on things. You know, I assumed, okay, he's here, this is good. He's not here, this is bad. And that is not even the case because everything's being divinely guided. You know, I was sitting up this morning thinking, you know, okay, you know, if I don't hear from him for a few days, I, I would get like really, really freaked out about it. But, you know, what if something better was on the horizon? I haven't heard from him for a couple days because he's going to show up at my door. You never know. And so stop limiting yourself. Stop thinking small. Um, but also stop gauging um, your happiness on what you feel like, what you perceive in your connection with your twin flame as good or bad. Because once again... This is a journey, an inner journey. This has nothing to do with what's happening on the physical realm. And imagine your higher self, which is you, in the driver's seat, doing everything that you have blamed your twin flame for was all you, to show you, to help you wake up, to help you um, restore yourself to your divine powers that divine knowledge that ancient knowledge that your soul carries with it now clarify that card we have in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love so this is what i was saying you have to shift your perspective and stop trying to judge and label everything because everything that your twin flame does you do not have to assign meaning to it because when you assign meaning to it, you have produced a whole scenario. And now you have a whole new timeline that you're on. <laughs> Dealing with shit that you wouldn't have had to if you just would have been like, okay, it is what it is and not assigned any meaning to it. But if you do create a whole timeline, look at it as a test, as a lesson. And stop taking it so personally. The lily, lilies forecast a happy family life. Now, see, I don't read this because, you know, some of it can be um, negative, too. Um, it says, lying above the person signifies virtuous life, but when under indicates immor immorality. You know, I had said this in my Virgo video. Once a week, I was buying fresh flowers for myself because I said, you know what? I don't need anybody to buy me flowers. You know, this really, this journey is really all about becoming independent, not needing anyone or anything outside of yourself. And I know as females, sometimes we just want someone to come in and save us. And, and you know, even males, you know, um, sometimes you just feel like, man, I just want somebody to be there to comfort me, hold me, let me know everything's going to be all right. 
But what you are seeking from your twin flame, you can give to yourself once you connect to your soul. You can give that to you because you know what? All of those times that your twin flame made you feel some kind of way, that was your own soul energy anyway. So connect to it. The money safe indicates riches. So basically what I'm getting with this too is that whole stop um, looking for things to judging things as good or bad. I'm telling you, this is the key to everything. If you can just realize, once, I, like I said, you have all the power and that they are just responding to your energy and stop attributing um, meaning to everything one way or another. Stop overthinking. Stop sitting around obsessing trying to figure shit out because you're not going to be able to figure it out because you know what? Your twin flame is not doing anything. They're not. So stop being so angry with them, too. That's the other message that's coming out. Um, if you can get to the point, and this is the point that my own inner guidance was like the other day. If you can get to the point where the physical form of your twin flame appears to do something and not be angry about it. Not be angry about it at all, but recognize it for what it was man, you will jump leaps and strides <laughs> and move up several timelines. All right, let's read this postcard. Dearest you, oh my, things have stirred up and change is upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life. The, fun, the funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear. Rather, in spite of it or even because of it, step into the unknown now. Let go of the branch you're clinging to and let spirit take the wheel. <laughs> I said the driver's seat. And help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said. Take one step towards the gods and they will take ten towards you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right. Don't be afraid to dance. Loving you always. Wow. So I do feel like um, when it said like spirit takes the wheel and helps steer you. Um, and I said that I could see my higher self in the driver's seat driving. <laughs> Recognize that. Um, I, I, I've been real excited lately too because I really feel like um, I'm just so much closer and you know it's alright to want physical union with your twin flame because we are humans and it's alright but don't need it don't let your life depend on it and let it not be your focus um, thank you for watching